Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a subby requested this gorgeous um, everyday work look with like a soft bronzer. So this is what I came up with. And uh, here I am with no makeup and I'm listening to Drake's new album, guys. I know my phone is busted. Don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to that. Uh, so I'm very animated in this video. I'm gonna start off with my primer and I'm using my favorite Smashbox primer. This stuff makes my eye makeup stay on like nobody's business. My eyelids are really oily so uh, it's amazing. And this is the Tartiste Pro Palette. I'm going to be using the flesh toned color. This is the shade um, Bold and it's just like I use it to just set my eye primer. And then I'm going in with this transition color. It's called Indie. You guys, I love this palette. It's like perfect for your everyday look. If you love mattes, this is perfect for you. And you've even got four shimmers, so that's nice. And then this color, it's like a cream pot color from e.l.f. It's so cheap, you guys. It's called Wine Knot. Now, I started off with my flat brush, but um, as you guys will see, I just later moved on to using my fingers to kind of like intensify it because I feel like your fingers just kind of warm it up just right. And then I went in with this color. It's called No Filter. It's like a mauve slash purple. And then I used this to deepen my transition and then I even took it to the outer corner as well. I really wanted to like make a multi-dimensional purple look. And then moving on, this one here is um, Drama. So it's more of like a dark violet purple. And I put that in the outer corners to like smoke it out just a tad, just a tad. And uh, you just gotta blend, you know? So for liner, I used the Lancome liner. This is just like regular black. It goes on so creamy. And I'm gonna basically just smudge this out. So I love putting black on my top lid because it makes my eyes look bigger since I have hooded eyes, you know? Um, and then just smudging that out is really gonna bring it like that nice semi-smoky look. So this is the final look for the eyes and then let's move on to the rest of the face. <laughs> I'm just rocking out so hard. This new album is super bomb. For primer, face primer, I'm using the Temp2 um, Mattifying Primer. It goes on really, really smooth and just the makeup just clings to it so well. And of course, this is my favorite foundation, you guys. Um, the Cover FX Natural Oil, like oil free finish natural something foundation it is so good and it just goes on and it looks like your skin i'm using the color um n90 which is like my winter color i think i'm gonna need to start stepping it up you know to the next shade but um as you guys can tell my neck is naturally darker than my face and my chest so even though i'm blending it it never quite blends properly i just i've given up <laughs> Um, for concealer, this is the Pure Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Dark, and I actually got this in my Ipsy bag, if you guys saw my last video. I'm so surprised that the color actually matched, like I was not expecting that at all. Um, but it looks really nice, it's more of like a natural looking concealer, not a super highlighting one. It just kind of looks like your skin. Um, and I love this Eco Tool sponge. Like y'all, y'all gotta get on it for sure. Um, and then I'm setting that with my Laura Mercier Deep, and I'm just using my Kat Von D brush to like dust the rest, like you know, not in my crease lines, to just lightly dust it. And um, I really like this brush. It's like my favorite for the highlighted areas. To set the rest of my foundation, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm just using like stippling motions because I want to like pack it onto my skin to really make sure that my makeup doesn't like transfer later on or look super greasy. For bronzer, this is the Bare Minerals, um, it's like 
kind of like a baked bronzer. It's super soft, super wearable, especially as we move into spring and summer. It just looks really lovely on the skin, but you gotta like pack it on, especially if you're darker than me, you know, yeah, you gotta use like Fix Plus to get that bad boy on. But I will say this is like not for like a highly contoured look. For a blush, I'm using the City Colors um, Blush Trio, and that's the color Fresh Melon. It's really soft, like I like it. Super soft, super feminine. And highlighter, you guys, this is like, everybody loves this one. This is from Laura Geller. It's the highlighter called Gilded Honey, and I'm using like a C motion, and just like circular motions around to blend it in. And it just gives a really nice, like, natural glow. Like, not crazy, you know? Um, so yeah, for the lips, uh, I'm using this Urban Decay lip liner. At first I was like, oh, I'm gonna use two colors, and then I decided to just go for one. Uh, the color here is called Hex. And I just love how well it complements the eye color. It's just like this really nice, um, berry color. It's, I think it's going to look beautiful on all skin tones. And I left it matte. So, yeah. Um, moving on, I'm going to like use this Fix Plus spray from MAC because I want it, my makeup to just like, you know, melt into my skin and not look cakey. And then to make sure that my makeup lasts all day, I got to use my Urban Decay All Nighter. Like, I am. I've been loving this setting spray for years. It is so, so good. So, you know, this is what, like, the final look, when it's all put together, looks like. And, um, yeah, I was just, I had a blast, you guys, filming this. As you can tell, I was just silly, goofy, and um, I love Jake's new album. So, you know, music is super important to me. If you guys love music, I'm always looking for new people to listen to. I love everything from trap music to reggae. So leave your suggestions down below in the comments. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!